so these ferromagnets are classified into two types one is hard ferromagnets second one is soft ferromagnets what is hard ferromagnets there are some ferromagnets of course if you remove the external magnetic field still magnetism will persist in some ferromagnets persist means it will exist for a long time in the absence of the external field also so hard ferromagnets means exhibits the ferromagnetism in the absence of external magnetic field also means external field was removed still magnetic behavior is still persist in this type of ferromagnets because of this behavior these hard ferromagnets are useful as memory devices like uh, hard disk the cd riders dvd riders and many important information that was uh, uh, chipped in a form of any disk format these all were the applications and manufactured by the hard ferromagnets what are the examples of these hard ferromagnets alnico alloys of iron aluminum nickel cobalt copper these are the examples of the hard ferromagnets what about the soft ferromagnets exactly opposite to the hardness so if you remove the external magnetic field the, that's why the soft ferromagnets loses its magnetism means in the absence of the external magnetic field there is no chance to exhibit the magnetic behavior so doesn't exhibits the magnetism in the absence of external magnetic field what are the examples iron cobalt nickel gadolinium etc this ferromagnetic behavior is dependent on temperature also so there is one temperature where a ferromagnetic substance loses its behavior and turns to the paramagnetic behavior the temperature is called curie temperature or transition temperature curie temperature or transition temperature a temperature where where a, par a ferromagnetic substance changes to paramagnetic substance changes to paramagnetic so the formula to understand this concept is chi is equal to c by t minus tc so such like this we can understand the concept of ferromagnetism 
there is a curve, a graph between B and H to a ferromagnetic substance. To understand the concept of this hard ferromagnetism and soft ferromagnetism. So, we will take B on Y axis. We will take H on X axis. Such like this. So, in such cases, we will take this one as origin. This is H, this is B. First, take a conductor, just uh, demagnetize it. After demagnetizing, place that conductor inside the solenoid. Once, if you place a conductor inside the solenoid, when the current is passing from one end of the solenoid to the other end of the solenoid through the turns, then the domains will align for that applied current. While the domains is aligning, then it will show such type of graph like this. This is O, this is ETA. This OA graph represents alignment of domains now after that just try to reduce the h while you are reducing the h it will reach us to a particular value so those values are tabulated like this so while you are decreasing the H value, so the H value is decreasing, decreasing and until it reaches to the initial state. While you are decreasing the H value, at H is equal to 0, the B value is not 0. B is not 0, B exists. So at H is equal to 0, B is not equal to 0. we can observe this one with this curve a b and this is c so the curve a b represents that so the remaining means some field is still exists in the magnetic substance this is called remanence are retaining magnetic field.